Hi everyone, this is Doni from Biotechnology 213001006. Let us know about the bioreactors for animal cell. What is meant by bioreactor? Biting so bioreactor is a vessel in which heterogeneous raw material are converted into homogeneous product under some control conditions by activating of any microbial system. As the some control conditions is nothing but as a pressure and pH in the temperature. In some cases, inactive of cells or sterilization is carried out in the bioreactor such as in water treatment. Interaction animal cell bioreactor depend on cell itself whether the cell exhibit anchoring dependent growth categorization that it must be attached to some form of solid mixture support. Cells are completely surface dependent and uh, more complex than bacteria. The cells are more subject to damage by osmotic shear and other cytotoxic effects. Cell productivity are low and the culture more liable to contamination by the faster growing bacteria on the fungal cells. Bioreactor designing for animal cells should consider surface adherence properties of the cell. Second, in increased demand on accept production. Third, the shear sensitivity of the cells, potential forming in the medium potential mass transfer limitation, control and automation, easy of scale up, removal of toxic product. These are the main design for the animal cell should contain bioreactor. And the animal cell bioreactor operations consider of five types, batch, fed batch, repetitive fed batch, continuous, preferential system. Batch, what is meant batch? Could in the medium change continuously with respect to the time, Owing to the dependue of the substantive development of the waste product, provides the cell with an highly fluctuative and uncontrolled environment, which can therefore never be an optional. Fed batch and the repetitive fed batch advantage of supplies of nutrients to the cells can be controlled to some extent by the feeding policy. Continuous operations advantages more constant and the control conditions, steady state operation at the control specific growth rate or cell density conditions. Specific nutrition limitations may be easily effective, reducing capacity cost, increase medium utilization, reducing the downtime, and removal of the waste product of the reactive environment in the condition. However, it is requires good control fact uh, in the high stand for the plant uh, contamination to avoid the. And next, uh, we'll go to the prefection system. A uh, cell providing with a continuously supply of the fresh medium and continuously withdraw of waste product. Closely approached to in vivo system. Approach particular to be advantages in the case in which the kinetic of the product form are released to growth. There are some types of bioreactors in the animals. So there are 10 types. Steel tank bioreactor, bubble column bioreactor, wave bioreactor, hollow fiber bioreactor. Microcarrier bioreactor, packed bed bioreactor, membrane bioreactor, fuelized bioreactor, spinner flask bioreactor, preferential bioreactor. Let's go and discuss briefly about these 10 topics. First one, steril tank bioreactor. This steril tank bioreactor is mostly widely used type of reactor in the process industry. Steril tank bioreactor are reactors mostly widely employed for the cultivating of biological agents such as cells enzymes and antibodies yeah in this yeah uh, this steril tank bioreactor let us see in the figure the pumps like steam for the sterilization acid base for the ph control and motor and the foam beaker and the flat blade impeller culture broth and next sterile aid this steril tank bioreactor they are mostly commonly used in the industrial process primarily in the homogeneous liquid phases flow reactor we are constant agent. Next one, bubble column bioreactor. A bubble column bioreactor is an apparator used to generate and control the gas liquid chemical reaction. It consists of a vertical iron cylinder column filled with a liquid at the bottom of gas which is inserted. This bubble column bioreactor is widely used in the chemical and biotechnological process industry because of the simple construction lack of moving parts, high yield, energy efficiency, for the mass transfer and the low shear force. Let's see the figure. In this figure, there are props for the temperature, pH and dissolved oxygen. 
and then liquid outlet gas parger gas inlet gas bubble and the culture plant cells involve suspension liquid intake and gas outlet this bubble column bioreactor uh, is basically a cylindrical vessel as uh, with a gas distribution at the bottom the gas parger in the form of the bubbles into either a liquid phase or a solid phase and next we'll look at the wave bioreactor in this wave bioreactor a type of disploid bioreactor used for the cultivating of manuclein cells and other type of cells in a variety applications such as protectively of biopharmaceuticals the wave bioreactor system was developed by ge healthcare and it uh, based on the principle of wave induction which creates a genetically rocking motivation next wave bioreactor are available in the several sizes ranging from the small scale uh, research application to the large scale manufacturing process there is a uh, uh, wave bioreactor is angle of 5 to 10 degrees rocks at the 5 it rocks mean uh, 5 to 40 minutes and the uh, next one will go to the halo fiber bioreactor This halo fiber bioreactor consists of mid in and mid out harvesting pot nutrition cells metabolical waste product a halo fiber bioreactor is a three dimensional cell culturing system based on the halo fibers which are small uh, semi permeable capillary membrane arranged in a parallel array which is typically molecular weight cut off uh, range of 10 to 30 kg These halo fiber are often doubled and the halo within the tubular polycarbonate shells to create halo fiber bioreactor cartridge within the cartridge so on cells are seeded into the ec space of the halo fiber bioreactor as expanded there cell culture medium is pumped through the ic spaces and deliver oxygen and the nutrition to the cells via holes fiber membrane prefers Halo fibers bioreactor are solid and single users disploid resulting in the significant time saving for the laboratory staffing and the techniques next let us look about the micro carrier bioreactors this micro carrier bioreactor is support matrix that allows the growth of the adherent cell in the bioreactor instead of an flat surface cell are cultured on the surface of these spherical micro carriers such that each particle carrier several hundred cells and therefore expansion capacity can be multiplied several times over micro carrier provides a large surface area for cell growth during proline fraction in suspension culture a micro carrier is a support matrix that allows for growth of the adherent cells in the bioreactor instead of flat surface cells are cultured on the surface of spherical micro carrier so that each particle carrier several hundred times next let us look about the packed bed bioreactor this packed bed bioreactor are tubular type of bioreactor which are packed with the immobilized enzyme or microbial cells and my, uh, as a bio catalyst different techniques such as encapsulation crossing linkages covalent bonding and absorption are generally used for immunobiological process in packet bed bioreactor cells are uh, immunobalanced and large particles these particles do not move with the liquid packed bed bioreactors are simply constructed and operative but can surface for the black pages in the poor oxygen transport Next one membrane bioreactor this membrane bioreactor is combination of membrane processes like microfiltration or ultrafiltration with a biological wastewater treatment process that activates sludge process in this uh, smb ra configuration the membrane is located inside the biological reactor and submerged in the wastewater while in a slide stream membrane bioreactor the membrane is located outside the reaction and as addition step after the biological treatment this membrane bioreactor combine covalentation bio treatment processes with the membrane filtration to provide an advantageous 
of organization suspended and solid removal. Example activator sludge. And last we will look about the flush bed bioreactor. This flush bed bioreactor is a type of reactor device that can be used to carry out a variety of multi-phases chemical reaction. In this type of reactions, a fluid gas or a liquid is passed through a solid granule material at the high enough speed to suspend the solid and the cause it behave as through it vary a fluid. This process is known as fluidization in parts. Many important advantages to FBR. As a result, FBR are used for many industrial applications. Fluidized bed reactor are still used to produce gaseoline and other fluidites along with many other chemicals. This fluid bed uh, bioreactor operates on the fluidization principle whereas fluid culture media moving upward through a packet bed of microbial cells suspended to them includes the fluid behavior. Next one. Spinner flask bioreactor. The spinner flask bioreactor are used as a bioreactor for going suspension culture in a liquid medium. The advantages of spinner, uh, spinner flask uh, beside it's biosponsible. It is available to produce air, oxygen, CO2 mixture to increase the pH stability and oxygen supply of the culture. Spinner flask are used as bioreactor for growing suspension culture in liquid medium. And this flask or steel tank bioreactor in which impeller mix maintains the cell in suspension and the mixed movement helps in the mass transport of nutrition when waste. This flask or steel tank bioreactor in which impeller mix and maintain the cell of the suspension. And next last topic we'll look about the precursor bioreactor. Precursor is that means by which blood provides nutrients nutrients and removes cellular waste. Prevention is a continuous culturing method in which cells are either retained in the bioreactor or fed back into it. The harassment medium thus contains non resulting in higher cells concentration and providing yields in hand reaction while still reducing the work volume. Prefersor would facilitate waste removal and repulsion nutrients at the faster rather than the cells growing under static conditions. Thus, activating prefersor would definitely cellular profession. Prefersor bioprocessing involves exchanging fresh medium for spent medium with a bioreactor while retaining the cells, allowing the higher cell destination and the lower concentration of the waste product inside the bioreactor thank you for listening